right, guys. Well, unfortunately, some asshole broke in. And after we just got this brand new steering column last year, after some dude broke in and totally destroyed it, somebody came in, busted up the, uh, the ignition here, trying to break into this one. So we're going ahead and trying to just replace this. Where, where is it at? We're going to replace this lock cylinder with this lock cylinder that we've actually replaced before when the first thing happened, just so I could get the the side back down to uh to hollywood here and now we're gonna have to put this back in all right guys so we just had to use the puller this this is an additional piece the cyclone has uh due to the wheel so what you'll do is you'll hook up the puller uh but you'll just pull on it and this will pop off for that piece and then you put the puller on here and you tighten it and this then pushes in so the first tightening piece pulls off that special adapter that comes with the cyclones and typhoons maybe the uh gmc uh sorry the sonoma gt um so now we're gonna go ahead and tighten this or we already have it tight i gotta use two hands to get that cotter ring or that, that that ring off right there and we will be back in a moment all right so we got the uh that clip loose so now what we'll do is we're just gonna back this off All right, and uh, that's right, because it wants to come all the way off now, since it doesn't have a clip on it, so. All right. So now, uh-oh. Come on, come on, clip. There we go. And, uh, let's go ahead, can I use, I don't know if I can do this with one hand again, but we're gonna try. Yeah. Uh. Okay, the whole thing can come off. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. It's always good to have something like, you know, like I got this little deal so I can lay everything out in order. So as I put it back, you know, I know I have an idea if I'm messing something up, why I'm messing something up. So, all right. Now the fun part. All right, so the hazard switch, I think it's, a, yeah, it's a Phillips. So we're going to go ahead and. All right, next we got three screws. We got the screw right here, we got the screw right here, and we got the screw down below. So, first thing I'm gonna do is with my left leg here, since I'm filming, I'm gonna put this up a little bit. This will give me access here. Lift that down carefully, that's gonna hold, and I'm grabbing an extra tool, guys. In case you have a magnet, it's always good. You can always do this, and make sure that you don't end up, you know, God forbid one of these screws fall down into that fucking column, dude, you're not gonna be in a good spot. It's not this one. It's not that one, it's this one. All right, so I think that's good. And again, I'm just gonna get in there like that so that we... Uh... Oh, okay, wait, wait a second. I think, I think I was right. I think it is this one because I think we have to take this off anyway because of the way that that works. So I think we do have to detach this. Do you guys notice that this is loosening the, uh, our switch here, our multifunction switch? Okay, this I'm just going to pull out like that. Okay. Okay, now if we take this out. It's funny, this dude got one of his hairs in here. That's kind of gross. I think I want to take that out. Oh, it fell on my seat. That's even more gross. I'm not confident. I don't want to think. I don't think I want to. Here, we'll give it one shot. Okay, wait, wait. Hey, check that shit out. We did it one handed. At this point, we're going to go ahead, loosen this, and this should allow us to take out and switch out this ignition switch. You guys want to be extra careful here because the last thing you want to do is lose any of your shit down in the steering column. Okay, that's not loose enough yet. All right, guys, so we got this, oh, 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 we got this off and we got this screw out and I was having a hard time getting it out and I couldn't get it out with the key. So what we ended up doing is just going right in here. There's a little slot that you can get in and push. That will push the ignition module out a little bit. And then we're just gonna grab the module and pull it out and now i'm going to put this one off to the side and we are actually ready for the install at this point so everything is basically reverse order 
So I'm gonna open this up, clean this off, and we're gonna, well, we'll, we'll put it back together. All right, so installation. We got our lock cylinder. We're just gonna go ahead and slide that in, make sure it's in there nice. And we have on our nice handy belt here. And again, I recommend that everybody has something like this so you just know the order of, that you're putting shit back together in and stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and try to carefully get this. I know you guys can't see it very well. There we go, we got that in there. And now, oh, see if I can do this with one hand while All right, that's nice and snug in there. We can actually just pop this guy back into place. Here guys, I'm gonna go ahead and put these, we're gonna put a screw in right here, right here, right there, right there, and the one on top. And then we're gonna go ahead and reconnect the little bar that allows us to uh, actuate this turn signal. So, All right, so we got those three screws in. Now we just gotta try to get and slide this guy up in here get this into position. So there's a little track that that little nub slides into. And as long as we get that in the right spot, and then, okay, sorry, I had to move that with the other hand there. Get this set up, and hopefully as soon as it's in the right spot, right, we will screw this in. And then we should hopefully have our turn signal and our, well, basically our multi, multi-signal, our multi-switch. Uh, operable again okay there we go and one thing I don't like this one won't seat it keeps spinning and I don't like that um, but we there we got the action back all right we are rocking and rolling that way so next we will go ahead we're gonna in, reinstall our uh, hazard switch so you should have the hazard the spring and then the button goes in this way and that goes, and that gets held in like, like so. You guys can see that. So I got the screw started now. And so now we're just gonna screw this bad boy. All right, and that seems a little tight. I think I'm gonna loosen this off just a tad. And that may be a little, little too loose now. So what you'll do is just get it right where you think you like it. All right. And one thing I do want to do real quick is test. All right. Seems like, seems like we got everything working now. And I always recommend checking what you can before you put everything back together. Because, of course, the last thing you want to do to get it all back together to realize that you fucking forgot something and you got to take everything back apart to go and fix something that you should have done in the first place so uh that means going back double checking all your screws making sure you don't have an extra screw that uh you know should have gone in somewhere else all right we are now ready to reinstall no problem let me get this right here all right, now, hopefully we can do this carefully without damaging anything. You should see this slowly just starting to seat back closer. There we go. We're starting to get down there. So we just gotta get it all the way seated. Oh man, did we just push through the fucking plastic there? Yeah, we did. That's such a bummer. Nope. I'm not going to do anything about it now. We're almost there, you see? All right, so now we got this, and I'm just going to push uh -huh. the, oh, carefully push this back without setting off the horn too many times. All right, there we go. We got the clip in place. So now we can remove this and see how badly I fucked up the plastic there. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so... Yeah, see, I've dented the shit out of that, but whatever. It's a, it's a protective piece, and uh, only me and any one of you who watch this video is going to know that that happened. So, all right, so I guess we wanted to place it a little bit further out there. I guess I wanted it closer under here and probably right there. So, hey, live and learn. 
Oh, I think we have to now mount. Okay, okay, am I gonna need an extra hand? Here's our awesome everyday mailman, Dre, he's an awesome guy. All right, so now that we got this on, we got the horn run through here, we got our bolt, or sorry, a nut on, and now we got the fun part of just tightening, tightening that up. All right, that seems pretty tight. I don't wanna jack my hands up, so I'm gonna to try to use some pliers to put this on. So this is a little tricky. You're gonna to have to force it a bit, but believe me, you can do it. You just might cut yourselves up a bit. All right, so just a little bit of brute force and we got that thing on there. So we're doing good. Next, we got to put the wheel on. That's We're basically done, guys. We just have to put the wheel and the, uh, the horn button back on. So now we'll go ahead get this and I got to make sure that I didn't spin my tires too much or do anything weird like that okay because you know we want to make sure that the wheel is on the correct way so we're gonna move the horn into the middle here we're gonna slide this boom and that is and so the wheel should be just a tad bit to the right and they are so we are ready to tighten this down and I know I didn't film this, so I'm um, taking the uh, taking the wheel apart. You just pull the button off. You'll see I'm gonna pop it back on. You just pop the button off. You guys can see how long I have the truck. It's got my thumb hole. They tell you to hold it, you know, ten and two. No, years and years of this. That's my that's my thumb grip right there. Funny part is you can see that this is just a normal steering wheel underneath that they la wrap with uh, leather. And now, lastly. We just got to connect this to the switch and we're good to go. So I'm going to, let's see, I don't know. You guys probably won't be able to see. This is probably going to be all fucked up. But, so I'm going to connect this to that up. Oh. All, right. all right, the last part of our video before we go over the tools. So we got this connected right there. I'm going to go ahead and just pop it on in there we go bam and now everything looks good we got our let me grab the old look and now so here's the interesting thing so my old key obviously won't work that's trash but the new key should wow it fires right up no issues yeah, it's uh, it's really as easy as that, you know. I mean, I don't, I don't want to say it's easy. It's easier than some jobs, you know. It could be a little frustrating if you don't know what you're doing, but it doesn't take too long. I would say, give yourself an hour, just in case. But literally, this is like a 10, 15 minute job if you know what you're doing. I bet you there's probably dudes that could probably do this in five to seven minutes. So, all right, thanks for watching this. We'll now go over the tools if I have any sense of mind. All right, later, guys. All right, everybody, I wanna quickly go over all the tools that I found necessary to do this job. I do not imagine you will need anything else, with the one exception being on one video that I checked out, the ignition lock cylinder itself was held in with a 5 16th inch hex bolt, not the Torx. So, okay, so first of all, you are going to need a puller kit. We needed this for two things. One, to remove the actual steering wheel bracket that is specific, I think, for the Typhoon, Cyclone, and the Sonoma GT. You will also need this to push in to extract one of the cottering pins that they have up in there. I don't know if it's called a cottering pin, but the little, little ring pin thing we got to get out. So you will need this uh, twice for this job. We have a socket. You could use a breaker bar if you want to. I decided to go just with a, a ratchet, a little extension. And this right here, I think it's a 21. Is this 21? Yeah, 21 millimeter. And this is the bolt. There's a big bolt that we need uh, in addition to take off the adapter for the Psi Tie SGT uh, steering wheel. All right, so we got some pliers here. This is simply to help out with some of the pins, the cotter pins and such that we need to, to get off. We got the standard Torx right here. 
I have a Phillips, you'll need that. We have two different flathead screwdrivers, a large and a small one. The large one I use primarily for holding things open and the small one I use to get in to pry things out. You don't have, there's actually no flatheads. We're actually screwing. That is just for some removal. And then I used a, uh, a crescent wrench simply to be able to operate this. This is basically all the tools that we needed to get the job done right there. So I just wanted to show you guys because I just hate videos when they don't tell me the tools I need. That's one of the reasons I'm looking. I want to know what do I need to take down to the fucking truck. So this is what uh, this is what I needed. Hopefully you guys won't need anything else. All right, you guys take it easy, and we will catch you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, hit that subscribe button if you guys want to stay up to date on any new fun little projects. Hopefully it won't be fixing shit that people break again. All right, later, guys.